All right, so guys, I had these rims laying around in my garage. They came off of a 1998 C280 Mercedes, I believe. It was my dad's car, and when he sold it, he left the rims behind. I ended up taking the tires off of them because I'm like, yo, these, these rims might be useful for me one day. And I, I looked at the rims, and I'm like, they kind of look like they have the resemblance of like a sun in the middle. Like if you looked at the shape, it kind of looked like a sun. So I'm like... If I paint these, what color would look good? And I'm like, yeah, you know, they, they look like those old kind of classic kind of rims. Maybe I can rock with gold and I can call them the Golden Sun Mercedes rims. So I was like, yo, let's do it. Let's try, let's try it out and see how it goes. <laughs> I first looked at the rims and I'm like, they got a lot of corrosion on them. There's no way I'm going to be painting over this. It's going to show right through. So I had to make sure I had to clean all that up first. And so what I did was I had this orbital sander and I'm like, it's perfect. You know, the surface of the rims are very flat. I can use this. It'll save me a lot of time. So I went and used the, I used that sander and I went and sanded down each of the faces of the rims. and it ended up working really well because it was all one uh, texture at the end and then I ended up using a grinder, a die grinder you know for the, the edges or whatever the circumference area of the rim because that was kind of hard to reach and make all you know smooth in one layer so when I used that tool it perfectly fit in there and it went around and it cleaned all that up I spent a little bit of time but I wanted to make sure that all this corrosion was gone or at least most of it was smooth because I didn't want any of this to show in the paint so the next step was to kind of smooth out those scratches so when I used the orbital sander on these um, the scratches kind of showed in them the smoother the surface was gonna be the more reflective and the more you know shinier gold looking the rims were gonna be so I went and used a softer uh, pad on a drill and it ended up working really good it was really really good you can see the difference between the before and after and so I ended up spending a little bit of time doing all that but after this I gotta make sure the rims are clean I don't want no dirt or anything stuck on them when I'm painting over them so I went ahead and I pressure washed them so I put the rims aside let them dry and I had about four cans of gold paint uh, it was this like metallic gold paint rust-oleum and uh, I had about two cans of primer and two cans of gloss clear coat to get it as glossy as we could whichever can I was using I put it in hot water first because that hot water is going to help dissolve the paint inside or make it more more liquidy or flowy I guess you could say and so I put it in the hot water and I just let it sit, do its thing, and then when it was ready to paint, I started with the primer first. If you guys don't know about primer, very, very important because that primer is what makes the surface easy for paint to bond to. So you want that. And after I put the primer on the rims, I did about two or three coats, and then I let them dry, and then I sanded them. I wet sanded them because if you wet sand a uh, surface, it's actually better for that glossy look which is what I wanted so I wet sanded them uh, I used about I think a thousand or two thousand grit sandpaper and it was finally ready to be painted now if you're a painter you know that preparation is the number one thing so I had to be very careful with these because gold is a very prestigious color and I want to make sure that these have very few imperfections if not any but anyways I started off with the first coat and you could hardly tell how these were gonna turn out like the first coat was like all right this is gonna be a success
boom, they were looking nice. They were looking real nice. I was kind of amped, you know, I was kind of happy, but you know what, we're like, we gotta finish this. So three coats later, boom, rims were very nice. And I was very happy, so we're getting there. But the, the main thing is the clear coat. So like painting them, sure, you know, you get to see the color come in, but protecting them is the main thing. Clear coat, if you ain't putting clear coat on your rims and like rocks or debris is gonna hit your rims, you wanna make sure your, your paint doesn't chip. So you put that clear coat on, that clear coat's gonna get hard, it's gonna harden on the rims, and it's gonna be like a, a shield. It's gonna protect your rims. So I put the gloss one on, cause I want these to be as glossy as like you know reflective nice prestigious rims as possible so i put the gloss clear coat on the third one i made sure i made it heavy so that it got that glossy look but not too heavy this was like the most important coat out of all of them third coat i put it on there and yo the rims were glossy, glossy, we were glossy. <laughs> the rims were glossy, like they were good. That right there was like, all right, yes, got it. Oh, we also painted the center caps. So the Mercedes center caps, so we ended up painting them, but damn, I mean, when you see the before and after, the dream in itself was take these ordinary rims and make them into something beautiful. We went from being ordinary to golden. This is, this right here, this is a success. All right, honestly, I'm super happy with the finish of these. Like, I've only painted rims like five times, but this has by far been my most greatest success. The message to my viewers and like the people that do end up subscribing to my channel yo this is a lot to me like i've never had this sort of you know consistency with any of my social media pages but i really feel like i have people out there that care to watch my videos so i thank you for that for the people that are subscribing i thank you so much because 600 i think we're at 600 right now the goal is a thousand i'm trying to become affiliated of course i want to grow this page out as big as i can so if you want to subscribe and be a part of the channel Everyone that subscribes is a part of Zilla Squad. All right, that's the squad. That's this right here. You're not just a subscriber. You're part of a family where we help each other. That's the point. And like, I get help from you guys when you leave a comment or feedback, positive or negative. It's all good, bro. It's feedback for me at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, consider subscribing because this is how I get motivated because I see that I'm getting people, you know, on board with the channel. And so I end up pushing out content like this for you to watch. So if you guys did enjoy that, then yes, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay glossy, my friends.